What's up, everybody? It's Lupigi13 here. Welcome back to another episode of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. In the last episode, which was quite a while away, I mean, ago, it was about a month ago, I think, uh, we finished World 5 and defeated Iggy Koopa in Castle 5 of the game. Today, we're gonna be doing the first half of World 6, even though it's already done. And the reason why it's already done is because I failed a recording, and then I, but luckily I had a backup file, and then I recorded that, I failed that recording too, and before I started that recording I forgot to save that file back to the other one. So we're going to be doing an already completed first half of World 6. So without further ado, let's begin. I think this is too loud. Okay. It's nothing special. This first level isn't really anything special. I can tell this is going to be a very long video. Hey, any, anyway, like I was saying, this first this first level isn't really anything special. It's just your average mountain level in a Mario game, I guess you could say. That's about it. Uh, the star coins can be tricky to get, but that's about it. That's all this level really is. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um... I can't remember the names of those blue spikes right there, because I know they're not called blue spikes. I just can't remember what their name is. Okay. Nope, I still can't remember. Hey, we're coming up on the first star coin here. It's right here. And you want to jump off that blue spike. I'm just going to call it a blue spike. Because, uh, if you don't, you're not going to be able to get that star coin. Unless you either have a propeller mushroom or you're playing multiplayer. Like, I'm not. And I did not think I was going to make that jump earlier when I did that leap of faith. We're almost at the halfway mark here. Be safe, and now we can get this shot. Oh my gosh! There's a second star coin. That I'd say that's the easiest star coin to get in this level because it it is the easiest star coin to get in this level. Now the last star coin, it can be a little tricky to get. There's a few methods that you can do to get it. All of them pretty tricky to do. But if you don't like tricky methods, then I can show you an easier way. Or at least it's easier to me. That involves freezing bullet bills. I forgot that one up was there. So what you want to do is you want to get some bullet bills to come to the right of the screen with you. You want to make sure that you beat them over this... You want to you want to make sure you beat them over here so that you can use them to get up there by either freezing them like that or jumping off of them and getting up here. And there's a third star coin. I just realized this is sounding more like a tutorial than a let's play. Maybe one of these days I'll do a blind let's play and I won't and it won't sound like a tutorial. Okay. 6-2. Now we get a cave level. Which really shouldn't surprise you. I mean, this is a mountainous area, so there should be plenty of caves in here. 
And I was being very reckless right there. Okay, luckily there's an ice flower right here. So technically, I never lost my ice flower. I think I just made a mistake. For the first star coin, you want to get this shell, or a shell from the previous area, and throw it at that block right there. And you don't want to go sliding down that hill. That hill, not that hit hill. You don't want to go sliding down that hill and try to kill that spiny, because it's not going to work. It definitely will not work. I tried it before. The last time I did that, the spiny ran over that ice block and killed itself. I don't know if it was a glitch or if it was supposed to do that, but it was still pretty cool. I think we're going to have to rescue Toad if we don't end up killing ourselves. We're going to have to save Toad. So now we're going to be saving Toad for the rest of this. And... If only Toad could spin jump, like, then that would make getting that star coin easier. Because we can't really get it because I don't have an ice flower. Actually, we might be able to use the Zubat. I mean, not Zubat, the Swooper. I don't know why I called the Zubat a Swooper. I mean, the Swooper a Zubat. Oh my gosh! I don't know why I called the Swooper a Zubat. Besides the fact that it looks like one. Hey, we got it. So if you don't have an ice flower, you can always use a swooper. Should be a star in one of these blocks. Wow, that's crazy. I never knew noticed that before. Toad has his own point system. Like, I was trying to chain lives there with that star, but I hit all of those swoopers with uh, Toad, and then when I hit one with Mario, it started over again. What you want to do is you want to wait for this pipe right here, and I'm pretty sure there's a star coin down here. And if there's not, then it's a bonus room, and you just found yourself a bonus room. And sure enough, it is a star coin. I like how we just leave Toad behind and he just comes through the pipe with us. At least he knows what he's doing. Oh my gosh. Wow, that Toad was like, you know what, I can just find myself out of the rest of this level. It's not, it's not like we needed him anyway. Anyway, back to the adventure. Maybe that's what I was thinking of right there when I froze it and then picked it up and threw it at the other spiny that was on the ground. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. I don't know. That's the easy way to get that star coin. Oh, I thought I was about to lose my ice flower for a second there. Those supers ran away as soon as I tried to go back and kill them. Oh, here's something I probably should have mentioned earlier. If you rescue Toad and get him to the flagpole, you'll get a 1-up automatically. But if you rescue him, and he's big, and y'all both get to the top, 
then you get three lives. It's pretty cool. Wow. Wait, what? I could have sworn I hit him with that block. It doesn't matter. We can just leave now. Oh my gosh. When it's hard to jump over a spiny. That's it for World 6-2. Let's let's go back over to the right where those pipes are for World 6-3. And we're not going to help you right now, Toad. This level right here, honestly... I've been thinking about this level, and I was thinking maybe I could do a challenge video with this level or something like that, where the challenge is to not touch the water at all. That would be cool. If you think I should do that, put it in the comments below, because I don't really know if I should do that or not, because I still haven't even finished this series. That was terrible. What you want to do is not that. You want to jump over this, and if you don't have a fire flower, you can throw the shell at the piranha plant and use its pot to jump up and get that star coin. And you want to do the same for that one to get this second star coin. Or, again, if you have a fire flower, use that. If you want to. It's, in my opinion, it's easier to use a shell because the shell just one-shots it. As where with a fire flower, you have to shoot it three times. I'm gonna let all these buzzy beetles drop so I don't get hit. What you wanna do is. Excuse me. What you wanna do is you wanna kill that piranha plant and use it to go come up here. You can either use a shell or a fire flower. I use a fire flower because that's what I had. And that gives you the last star coin. And if you didn't have a fire flower from before, here's one right here. If you have, if you're super, then you can get a fire flower, obviously, because that's how it works. For the rest of this level, you're basically just getting out of this tunnel. I guess you could call it a tunnel. I call it more sewer, even though I literally just called it a tunnel. But, yeah, it's probably a sewer. More than anything. That's another life in our arsenal. That we probably don't need. Okay, now we can move on to world 6 4 with that toad. We're gonna save the toad this time and we're gonna make sure that he gets to the top of the flagpole. Because not only do we get lives if he reaches the flagpole, we also get a toad house. And this propeller mushroom was gonna come in handy later. 
And that was the worst place I could have let Toad open. Because Toad is now dead. Things are really going... Things are really going good for Toad today, aren't they? Okay, that was... Oh my gosh. I thought that Monty Ball was going to land on that semi-solid. There's one toad dead out of the millions that have already been killed by it. Yep, Mario himself. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know why I did that. I was probably going to put something like that anyway in the video. When I edit it. Well, there's the the first star coin. You can get it like this, or if you have a if you have a propeller mushroom, you can just jump off it and shake and fly up there. But I didn't. There's a P switch right here that I'm not gonna jump on. Because I wanted to get that. And it was a fire flower. I mean, I guess it could be good for killing Monty Moles. Now I'm going to hit the P-switch. And I'm pretty sure this is, like, the hardest... P Switch coin trail that's ever been in any Mario game ever. Well, it wasn't like hard, hard. I mean, like. What do I mean? I mean. That. What's the word? Crap, why can I never. Try to. Why can I never say what I'm. What I'm trying to say? I hate that. I'm sure the word that I'm looking for will pop up in my brain sometime. Here's the... Not the last star coin. Here's the second star coin. Usually when I see people go down there to get that star coin, they jump off a of Yoshi. Like that. But I didn't have to jump off a of Yoshi. Whoa, that was a lot of speed from that Yoshi flutter jump, well, from that flutter jump. Okay, that was terrible. I don't even know what happened there. Yoshi like glitched and started falling really fast. Let's try that again. And this time, let's not fail either. It says, let's not fail this time, and almost fails anyway. Here's the last star coin. You can use this up here if you want to. But I'm pretty sure most people would have gotten mad at me if I left my Yoshi there to die because I jumped off it to get a star coin. There's nothing over there, so I don't know why I checked over there. 
and we're back at 99 likes. I should start keeping a death counter. I know that's pretty late to start keeping one, but I think I should start keeping one. You know what? No. When, when I start getting to the the juicy levels, when I start dying a lot, then I'll, I'll keep a death counter. I mean, let's see how many times I've died in this level. Hey, today, here's the last level of the episode. Usually there's four levels in the episode, but today we're going to do five. Because this marks the halfway point of the world. World 6 Fortress. And this already looks like a bad, a bad level. Not bad as in design wise, bad as in it's gonna be hard. Cause you wanna know why? We got skewers. And this box right here contained an item. Guess what that box down there contained? An item. They're giving us double items, which means that this they th they think this level is hard. But don't I was about to say, don't worry, if you have a propeller mushroom, it's not that hard. And then as soon as I was about to say that, I get hit. Makes perfect sense. Really? I got hit again? Going down this tower is way easier than going up, apparently. This is literally the most I've ever gotten hit in this level. Not even when I first played this level I got hit this much. It was crazy. Well that dry bones is dead. There's first star coin. And that was a very risky jump. I looked over at something for a split second and I thought I was on that this ledge over here but I wasn't I was on the platform as you can tell and I died I tried the ground pound to get up there that obviously didn't work let's try that again it is a good time This time, let's not fail miserably. Of course, as soon as I say that, I barely miss getting hit by the skewer. Forgot you can touch the spikes, but the skewer itself is off limits. Makes perfect sense. Why are you falling? That was a close one. Uh. See, look, Mario is clearly all touching those spikes. No, no, no. 
I'm not about that life. Hey, we're halfway to the level. And uh-oh, there is one from coming from the ceiling, too. And look where the second star coin is. Right in between them. And I'm about to get hit. Now, the, you th if you thought the challenge of climbing up with the skewer coming coming from below you, if you thought that was a challenge, then you're gonna be in luck because going up with the skewer coming from above you actually isn't as bad as it seems. Oh, them Super Mario Maker tricks that I learned really paid off right there. Oh my gosh, I thought I was going to get hit there. The third star coin is a really hard, well not hard, it's just really annoying to get. Because you have to wait for the skewer to not be right there, over there in that small crevice over there. And if it is, then you're not going to be able to get get the star coin without getting hit or dying, if you're small, obviously. But here's the boss of the first half of the world. Six. Morton Koopa Jr. I still don't know why he's called Jr., but oh well. He's pretty easy. That was literally it. Save. Well, that ends today's video, guys. Next time in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, we will be playing levels that actually weren't cleared before I started recording. But anyway, next time we'll be doing the second half of World 6 and hopefully going to World 7. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.